Yeah, so we are uh, Snapperlia. Uh, we are building a multi-chain uh, identity and crypto wallet. Uh, we also have a gig marketplace similar to LinkedIn uh, where job seekers can connect with employers to find uh, job opportunities. Uh, we have a goal of helping one million people find full-time jobs um, uh, during the duration of Snapperlia. We're up to 27 so far, so one step at a time. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically you can go to snapperlia.com right now. You can make an account. You can join our talent pool network, or if you are a B2B uh, you know, business, you're looking to hire, you can come to us. We have a proactive uh, hiring team that will help find talent for you. We have a database of over 900,000 engineers from a project called Hire Easy. It's one of our co-founders' previous projects uh, that we're leveraging to help these early B2B clients find, um, find talent. Uh, so when it comes to uh, digital identities, we started with Hyperledger Aries. Uh, we were working with Occupy, the Python middleware. Um, and then we, we, we got into Cardano Catalyst and we put together a couple proposals. Uh, one was to help accelerate um, uh, zero knowledge proof uh, technology, namely uh, CL signatures as related to BBS plus signature types. And we worked with uh, a working group alongside um, members of IOG, as well as uh, Roots ID and uh, partners from the uh, Hyperledger side, and then the Linux Foundation. A lot of brilliant people. Um, the point I'm trying to make is it's a team effort. And you know we've we've been fortunate to work with some of the the best in the uh, space. Um, so basically, we received some funding. We helped accelerate innovation on that side, and that got us into this this question around um, voting systems. So we were intrigued by governance uh, solutions for voting systems. So how do you pr prevent tyranny of the majority of attacks? and how do you prevent uh, Sybil attacks in voting systems? Uh, when it came to tyranny of the majority attacks, we discovered this, uh, this line of research called quadratic voting, and we started building that solution with Haskell, Plutus, and Cardano. When it comes to Sybil attacks, uh, really you have to solve the proof of identity problem, and that led us to digital credentials, which led us to look into like Hyperledger and then now Prism. Uh, so we're actually integrating this together in our wallet and we're releasing a Discord bot as well where communities can utilize our voting system solutions on Discord. So as Tony talked about, uh, I think part of the problem in Web3 is the UI UX approach. So you really have to design uh, solutions that the average user is not going to be overwhelmed by or who is not going to find intimidating um, something they'll understand intuitively. So we hyper-focus on UI UX with our solutions. And our wallet, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, we're planning to release it on Monday in the iOS and Google Play stores, uh, V1. So you all can make an account. Uh, it's going to support Ethereum and L2s, Cardano, and Bitcoin to start on the crypto side. And then we have Fiat on, on ramp. And on the identity side, it's going to be um, uh, Trinsic under the hood, uh, which is our V2 version. We started with Hyperledger and now we're Trinsic. And then Itala Prism V2, we plan to implement as soon as uh, production is ready. Um, but yeah, we're, we're honestly very blessed to be doing this. Uh, we have a lot of people who've come to us. Like Our initial impetus for starting Snapperlia was to help people find uh, job opportunities and economic opportunities who formerly just simply did not have uh, access or maybe just didn't, didn't know what questions to ask to get there. Um, so it started as hopefully close to like an altruistic mission and it's progressed into this really beautiful community of uh, people. We have a team of around 55 now, but we have around 100 and four graduates, 
So we're constantly churning through interns. And coming up in the pipeline, our next, uh, one of our next solutions is an AI mentor. So we're building these, we're training these language models on various pathways that we manually mentor right now. So anyone can come to Stemperly, uh, they can earn a verified credential in a technical track, and then we'll help them find a job opportunity. Um, so that's in a nutshell what we're doing. Uh, thank you, Tony, for the opportunity to you know, announce some updates. So Frank, thank you very much. Frank, co-founder of Snapbrilia. Frank, you touched on a couple of themes there. Community, ecosystem, wallets. And if, if I look around at the Web3 ecosystem today, it reminds me a lot of the internet community in the late 90s. It was all about how can we do cool things for real people. And the internet has sort of evolved to where it is today, where we have a lumber, number of large companies that sort of have figured out how to control all of it. And here we are, you know, the people are back. We're like, no, we want our internet back. Um, so that's the community aspect. Now the wallet aspect, excuse me, a lot of, a lot of people have sort of heard this idea like the wallet wars are coming. Uh, kind of like the browser wars of the early internet years where you know, Microsoft got sued because they forced you to use their Explorer, you know, when you, down, when you got a Microsoft computer. And the idea was people need choice of which browser to use. The wallet is very similar and it's so much more rich. There's so many different kinds of wallets you can have. In the future, every application you use will be a wallet. If you think about what a wallet does is it manages private keys for you. That, that's ultimately what maintains your privacy, what maintains your security, what maintains your control over your assets, whether they be your, your data, your list of friends, your credentials, your Bitcoin. It's, it's that private key, it's the cryptographic material that is what gives you that control, and it's wallets that manage and maintain that private key for you. So in the future, applications you use, they will all have private keys, Otherwise, that means someone else is managing it on your behalf. And you may want that in some cases, but you probably want that less and less. And so what I love about the Snapbrilia wallet and the Snapbrilia team's story is they really come from the Cardano community and they started to build their own ecosystem. And I separate ecosystem from community because communities are all of us and we, we do all our families, our kids, you know, we, our, our church, our various groups we belong to. But when we start about to talk about an ecosystem, there's this, this aspect of business and commercialization and you know, feeding our families and making a living and you know, building our dreams together as a, as a business ecosystem. And, and that's what we're talking about here today is building business ecosystems across chains. And so the Sabrilia wallet, I remember meeting Nin in, uh, in our first Pioneer program. And you had this idea of, I wanna train developers to come into Web3 and, and build Web3 stuff. And so that was like the origin of Snapbrilia. Then they realized there's no wallet for these developers to hold their credentials so they can get jobs. And so you guys started building a wallet. And now you have, I mean, it is such a beautiful wallet. When you think about the wallet wars that are coming, you guys are like in first place in my book for wallets that are doing identity and crypto together because I think you're actually the only wallet I'm aware of that is this close to production launch that actually does both identity and crypto together. And you guys didn't stop there. You're doing banking. You're doing find my job. I mean, it's really incredible what you guys are doing, the innovation that's coming out of your team. So, so bravo to you guys and thanks for coming.